Need Ludafisk in my teeth? Got it all out? Okay. Oh, come on. Put on a real jacket. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. You betcha. Oh, no, I forgot all my reusable bags for the co-op. Oh. Like the sound of a choir of angels singing, a dove softly cooing. This is the sound of the Minnesotan accent. Oh no, I didn't put a coat in my bag, and now there's so much snow in the road. We've all heard it. I love it. It's unique. Very distinctive. Hometown, wholesome, the perfect accent. I think it's ugly. <laughs> I don't think it's ugly, I just... Of course I live here, so I don't even think I have an accent. Oh, believe me, honey. You do. Well, we might not sound quite like this. But what does this guy look like, anyways? Oh, he's a little guy, kind of funny looking. Sometimes we get pretty close. Come on over for some hot dish, eh? Oh, for cute. Yeah, sure, you betcha. <laughs> but why do we sound the way we do? And where does our accent come from? Let's take a moment to learn more about the Minnesotan accent. Social scientists estimate the number of U.S. dialects range from a basic three to 26 or more. Some researchers go as far to suggest that it's actually impossible to count the number of dialects in the U.S. because thousands of cities, towns, and groups have their own individual accents. But why do we have so many different dialects in the first place? One, one reason is that the dialects develop the main reason is, is isolation, so when the speakers become geographically separated or even don't have a lot of contact with each other. Social classes are also reasons for, for different dialects to develop. Another reason is certain varieties of a language will become sort of influenced by an adjacent language. So in, in most varieties of American English, the O is a, is a diphthong, so you say, for example, snow, and it's really more like O, W, it's almost like a W at the end of it. Whereas in Minnesota, a lot of speakers have really what we call, instead of a diphthong, they have a monothong. So just one, an O that's sort of held longer. So snow, there's a lot of snow. Um, and the same thing happens with A. So wait, can you wait? There's a lot of snow on the road. Um, and those, those qualities, a lot of people say, oh, those definitely came from Scandinavian um, because the Scandinavian languages have those sounds. But an alternative explanation is that they came from Scotch-Irish. So if you think of the way that Scottish English is spoken, even today, they actually have the same monophthongal O. So there's a few clues to our accent's origin, though no one can really say for sure. But one thing is for certain. Our dialect is one of a kind, and it's pretty famous around the country. I lived in New York for three years, and I was constantly the uh, subject of ridicule for, for many words. They like it when we say things like boat and about and up north, things like that. Or, you betcha. You betcha. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. They love yeah. Everyone says that yeah when we say yeah. Yeah. Because coming from New York City, you only have 30 seconds and then you bypass each other. It seems like Minnesota just crawls along. But I think it's due to people thinking things through before they speak them. To master a dialect is more than just knowing how words are pronounced. It's also about sentence structure. And the upper Midwest dialect, aka the Minnesotan accent, has a unique construction that you might not hear anywhere else in the country. One of the biggest constructions that people notice when they, when they come here is the come with construction. So for example, I'm going to the movies, do you want to come with? We even go farther, so we say bring with take with. Um, we'll say, oh, well, I am not done reading this book. Well, just take it with is something really normal to say here. And in other parts of the country, they feel like something's missing. Take it with you. I have a very, very strong suspicion that the come with and the take with construction comes from Scandinavian and German. With all of the craziness surrounding the Minnesotan dialect, and to be honest, how often it's the butt of jokes, it begs the question, would you change your accent if you could? No, I don't think so. Not entirely. No, I wouldn't lose it for anything. I think it, it defines who I am. I'd be losing part of myself. Oh no, I didn't put a coat in my bag, and now there's so much snow in the road. <laughs> who started? Sorry. Leave this. Leave. 
Okay, that's okay, I'll do it again. Oh geez, where's the snow scraper? I thought I put it right here. Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> I like to hold some lutefisk real close on a cold, snowy day. Oh, yeah.